And we're back. And by we, I mean me. Although, if we include you, then I guess I could say we. Let's see. Let's continue on where we left off the last time. Nobody can join. I guess you have to select that each time. Load world. So in the last video, we covered the basics. We collected some material. We got our food and water under control. And we made a spear so that we can fend off the shark whenever it attacks the raft. Hopefully saving some foundations. Now you do have to be quick when you do that. You have to react rather quickly. Don't expect to save a foundation piece every single time, even when you do have that spear. And by the way, look at how much durability we lost on that spear. And all I did was hit that shark three times. I forgot that it was dark. Hmm. You know what I think I'll do right away? Right away, I'm, oh, you know what? The moon is setting, so that means the sun will be rising. The horizon is already slightly glowing. I won't pause it. We'll continue on. So what are we going to do in this video? In this video, we're going to improve the mobility of the raft. Specifically, we're going to be able to nudge it in the direction that we want to go. That will help us to... Um, Actually, we might run right into this island. Where's our wake? Right here. So 180 degrees. No, we won't hit it. Coming somewhat close to it. But what if we wanted to hit it and we were too far over here and we're thinking, oh no, we can't, we can't go over there. Well, we need some items first in order to do that. We need a sail so that we can adjust the cell in order to nudge the raft in the direction that we want to go. We could also use a paddle to do that, but a paddle has durability and over time it will wear out. You don't get much usage out of a paddle actually. But I would say the paddle is the first mobility item that you would craft. Let's see if we can grab it right now. If you go to navigation and then click paddle, you'll see you need four plank, six plastic, and two rope. I'll craft it right now. It popped right there. Let me select it. And the paddle works the way you would think it, it would work. You look in the direction you want to move and then you left click. And look, you can you can see relative to the island that we are indeed moving towards it. But we're still also moving in this direction because that's the direction that the wind is pushing us. So I can't just stop and then go backwards. See, I can't quite. Actually, it looks like I am a little bit. Oh, that surprises me. Maybe I'm at the right angle. There is one problem, though. If I jump off and jump onto the island, the raft will continue without me. Oh, look, there's some watermelon right there. The raft will continue without you. Now, the way this game works, the world populates around the raft. So that means... If you're on an island and your raft continues, then the game will continue with your raft, not with you. And in a matter of minutes, that island will despawn and you'll fall into the water and then your game will be over. So for that reason, we need to also be able to stop the raft whenever, whenever we want to. And in order to do that, we need to craft a throwable anchor. Note the description. Let's you anchor your raft can only be used once. So once you visit an island and then you unsecure the anchor, you'll then need to craft another one if you want to make another stop. But you only need a couple of planks, four rope, and four stones. Now at sea, the only way you can get stones is randomly through those barrels. And it just so happens that I have eight. So I can, in fact, craft a throwable anchor right now. Let me go ahead and do that. And there it is. How does it work? It's pretty simple. You select it, and you're pointing. So the game is telling you that it needs to be placed. And you have to attach it to your raft. Now, it's yellow. Or at least it looks yellow to me. I'm somewhat colorblind. Let me grab this real quick and this. All right, we shall now resume. That means you can place it here. Note that there is a rope attached to the bucket of rocks, which is attached to the raft. If I mouse over here, though, it's now red. 
That's because that rope is attached to the internal part of the raft. It needs to be attached to the external. So just hit R. And, oh, why is it not? Maybe because this item is there? That must be it. But it works over here. I don't know why it's working there, but not here. Anyway, that rope has to be attached to the outer edge of the raft. If I click again, it now places the item and it tells you hit E to pick it up and then you can throw it into the water the same way you would use your hook. However, I want to remove it. I'm not going to leave it there. Not in this case, not until I'm ready to use it. Maybe we'll use it up here with this island. The reason I'm not ready to use it is because or the, uh, the reason I don't want to leave it there until I'm ready to use it is because that shark might come and destroy that foundation and then I lose my anchor too. I think we have a good opportunity here to visit uh, our first island. But I want to see if I can craft something better than the uh, paddle. And I can. I now have enough material to craft a sail. It works kind of like the paddle. You can control the direction you move to some degree. You need 10 plank. 20 leaves and three scrap. Hit craft, and here it is in our uh, hot bar. And I can now place it. Now, you definitely want to follow that rule for this item. And this is real precarious because, well, there's not a lot of room on this raft. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll survive if I place it there. But just to be on the safe side, I think now might be a good time to go ahead and place some additional foundation pieces just to give it a little extra protection something like that I do want to expand more but look I'm really low right now on wood all right how do you use this cell well you look at it you hit E it drops the cell and then you can hold R and move your mouse left or right to move your raft left to right. See, we're moving right relative to the island. And if I push it this way, we're now moving left relative to the island. Not as much so, probably because we have a, more, a higher uh, wind coming more from that direction. But I'm just going to point it straight over here, like so. I'm going to try to aim for right in there. Not exactly easy to see with the cell in the way. But later on, once I have an actual design for my raft, I can probably change that. A little bit more. Okay. A lot, whoop. A lot more now. Uh-oh. How dare he, right at this important time. And there we go. That may be that we're stuck here. Let me see. Kind of. A little bit. I think we could come loose. It's hard to tell. But you can walk right up into the island. And you could use this method if you didn't have an anchor yet. You could use this method to, uh, uh, to reach an island. As long as you keep an eye on your raft. Because if it starts to drift away from the island, you will definitely want to immediately jump down and get on it at, at any cost. It doesn't matter if there were 10 sharks there. You would want to get to that raft. grab that. Now, I'm not sure of the dynamics of the shark now. I don't know if the shark will attack or not. Let me eat that. Do I have water in there? Let me see. Yes, I do. I think that the shark is wants to get you and not your raft. So as long as you're not on your raft, then I think it's safe from attack. But I could be wrong. All right. So here we have a little island, very small. Most of these islands are very small. There's not a lot to look at. 
there are some flowers, and the flowers are used for dye. See if I pick that flower, mouse over it, it says, can be made into color. I also managed to collect a seed for it. But I don't want this stuff just yet because it's taking up valuable inventory space that I have very little of. And I'm going to get inventory under control in a while, but not just yet. You'll find probably more flowers on islands than you will other useful resources like food, such as watermelon, pineapples. However, these trees are pretty useful because when you chop them down, you can sometimes get food, like coconut, for example. In order to chop them down, you need this tool right here, a stone axe. And as you see, I need six plank, three stone, two rope, and I'm one plank shy. It's worth it for me to go ahead and risk the shark to get one more plank because then I can craft the axe, and then after I craft the axe, then I can get wood from these three trees that are on the island. And oh look, there is some watermelon right here. Watermelon is good for two bites per watermelon. And you get food and water out of it. And if you watch the food and water bars, you'll see that you get more water out of it than you do food. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat all of this. Okay, so I can see a wooden plank there and a barrel. A wooden plank there. Hmm. I think I'll just go for this one right here. And I'm not going to jump on the raft. There's the shark right there. Tried to get me. The reason I wanted to jump up here instead of the raft is because I didn't want to trigger the shark into thinking that the raft is attackable again. Okay, so now we should be able to craft the stone axe. There we go. Look at all of these tools we have. Let me plop this up there. This over here and I'll leave the rest there. All right, so now that we have a stone axe, let's just go up to this tree. By the way, you can hit shift to run. That's pretty standard for most games. It will also extend your jump distance which is done with the space bar. And look at that fantastic wood chopping animation. Okay, um, well, we got all of our wood back except for one, but that's okay because there are two additional trees. So we'll grab those. Oh, there's some pineapple. We'll eat that. Getting some coconut, at least one. I'll go ahead and eat that coconut. And the last tree. Oh, actually, no, there's two trees, huh? This small one as well. I didn't realize there were four. Getting mangoes from this one. And I'll go ahead and eat it. Food bar doesn't rise much, but it certainly helps some blue flowers for blue dye and some red flowers for red dye and up there you can see some black flowers for black dye. Can I get up here? Just barely. Anything else? Just the black flowers I guess. Alright, we'll go ahead and chop down this tree and then we'll take a look and see how much wood we managed to get from all four trees. 18. Not bad. That's more than we had when we uh, landed on the island. Even after spending the resources to build the stone hatch. Is that what it is? Stone axe, I mean. Now one thing we want to make sure of here is we want to make sure that we have enough stones before we leave the island to build another anchor. But in this case, we don't have to worry about that need because we didn't have to use the anchor but we also need to craft another stone axe. And actually, I would say that we don't need to, to craft another one just yet. So I'm going to rescind my previous statement. Yes, you need to make sure that you can make a new anchor and make sure that you still have a good used stone axe or that you can craft another one. But in this case, we already have one that's decent and we already have an anchor. So what do we need? Well, there might be some goodies in the ocean here. And it's turning dark 
And uh, once again, it's going to make it more difficult to show you what's going on. But at the very least, I don't need to uh, contend with the shark. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll pause the screen recorder again because I want to show you collecting resources in the ocean. And I'm going to collect some fish with my fishing rod. And then when it's daylight, I'll, I'll come back and uh, I'll show you what else you can do with an island. Okay, so the sun is rising. It's daylight once again. I caught a few fish. I caught this guy and this guy and I caught these two guys. These two guys are what I'm most interested in right now because this is the recipe or part of the recipe needed to craft shark bait. You need those two fish and you need two rope and this keeps the shark busy. Why do I want the shark to be busy? Well, because I want to go collect some uh, stuff from a reef and I don't see... Actually, does this island have a reef? Let me check. Maybe there isn't a reef here. Kind of hard to tell, but it doesn't look like it. Let me go over here. We're just going to check this out first because there's no point in diving down to collect stuff if there isn't any stuff to collect. Oh wait, I see some seaweed. Oh, there we go. There is a reef there. Um, I don't really see a lot, but we'll do this anyway. So let me distract the shark. I'm going to throw the shark. I'm going to craft shark bait, and I'm going to throw it over here. I want it kind of far removed from the, from that reef. I need to keep an eye on that raft just in case. Okay, shark bait craft. And where did it go? It's right here. Use it the same way you use all of the other items. Left click, hold, and release to throw. Oh, the shark is right there. He's going to turn around. And now he's going for it. Now that's going to keep him busy for a while. Uh, a couple of minutes, I think. I'm going to jump down here and swim down. I'm going to equip the plastic hook. And when you see stuff glowing like this, you can bang on it. Hit it twice, and you see in the far right corner, or bottom right corner, I just picked up a stone. I'm going to do this until I get four total. And then I'm going to get some air. And then I'm going to quickly go down and grab some of the scrap. Anything that looks like this, like metal debris, is indeed scrap once you collect it. And I wouldn't mind getting some sand and clay. Oh, that looks like clay right there. I need to watch it, though. I don't want to get too far away from this island. Clay, let me get some oxygen. I don't see any more. Doesn't look like, oh, here's some more right here. Let me head back towards the island looking for sand. I'm not sure how, oh, I'm drowning. And as you can see, that cost me some health. And where is that shark? Perhaps I'm far enough away from it that it doesn't notice me. I'm gonna look for a little bit of sand. I wanna collect at least one sand, but I don't see any. It looks a little like the clay but a little more sandy. Oh, what's this over here? Looks like we found some copper. There's also metal ore. That's important. Actually, I think I see some right there. Let's go see if we can't collect that. Do notice that my health bar is slowly regenerating, so you don't have to do anything about that. All right, got some metal ore too. That's convenient. And I still don't see any sand. All right, I think that's enough for this island. Of course, you could stay and deplete every resource available in and around all islands if you like. But for the sake of this video, I think I'll, uh, I'll call it quits for this island.
Okay, let me see if I can't repair this. Now we need to get ourselves unstuck. And, oh, my goodness. Come on, guy. There you go. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm out of wood, aren't I? No. What am I out of? Oh, I guess it is repaired. It just didn't look like it. Nope, it says 85%. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to go back and use our paddle. And we're going to use it to get us unstuck from this little section of the island that we managed to get. Oh, nope, nope, I don't want to do that. Let me, maybe I need to go more out this way. There we go. Actually, it looks like there's some more reef down there. Since we're hitting this rock, we might end up spinning the raft a little bit again, but that's okay. There we go. I think that will do it. Although we might get stuck right here. Maybe. Nope, I guess not. We're not even going to hit it. All right. All right, time to collect stuff again. And, um... Let me pause. Let me think for a minute if there is anything else I want to show you in this video. I think I'll make this video short. So now that we have mobility, actually I should probably move that cell back a little bit because I'm not sure if it's registering as being attached to these front two foundations or not. Let me do that right now. Uh, you can hold X on any item you've placed to remove it. And then you can replace it back where you want. I'm going to put it back here. Actually, let me do this. Seems like it's a little less in the way there. Okay, that should be good. Very good. By the way, you can hit R and rotate this even when the cell isn't down, even though it doesn't tell you that when you mouse over it. Okay, so now that we're more mobile, I think what I want to do is expand the raft. I would like to start with a 5x5. Five five. The reason for that is I can then place my items on the interior 3x3, three three, and I don't have to worry so much about... This is really bad. I wasn't paying attention. And then I don't have to worry so much about losing an item when the shark comes. So I don't know if I have enough material to do that just yet. Yeah, oh, definitely not. I don't have any plat. Oh, wait. Oh, because I'm in repair mode. All right. Let's go back to... Wait. Nope. What is going on here? Oh, okay. I feel really silly now. All I had to do is go up here and choose foundation piece. Okay. So uh, I think I want to... Go ahead and expand this some. Um, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, oh, and I'm already out of plastic. Can I get that one right there? Oh, I need to make sure I have at least two, two plastic to be able to make a new hook to because this is almost depleted. What is going on there? How many times do I have to hit E? And another island. Getting quite a few islands. I need plastic. Okay, so I did pause it and just did some boring gathering of materials. I see an island over there. I'm going to go ahead and pull down the cell and aim over there. I don't know pretty far over. I don't know if I can reach it or not, but I do want to actually demonstrate how the anchor works as opposed to only explaining how it works. I'd like to show it at least once. So let's see if this works, if I can get the, if I can nudge the raft over there. Actually, it looks like it is working. Let me, uh, a little bit more to the right. In the meantime, I did collect some more plastic and wood, so let's 
see if I can't. One, two, three. Wait. Is this a five by five? One, two, three. No, I guess it's a four by four. I guess we can deal with this. Actually, no, I really do. I really do need a five by five. We'll get ready for it, but I don't think I can quite craft it just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. But that's okay. This this is a good start. And oh, I was not paying attention. I think we're going to make it. I think maybe the wind does shift from time to time. I'm not sure. I have to look that one up. But I have noticed some strange anomalies in my other saved games. Okay. Wow, this is a small island. Where do I want the anchor? I guess I'll put it right here. So it's pretty easy to use. You just walk up, hit E to pick it up, and then you hold left click to charge it, and then throw it wherever you like. I'll throw it right there. And immediately you can hear and see that the raft is stopped. I'll go ahead and lower this, or raise that I mean. And there we go. Now we are anchored. We're not going anywhere. We don't have to keep an eye on the raft now. And I can once again go and explore this tiny, tiny little island. But I can also explore around the island and the reefs and uh, manage and probably get some materials as well. There's some stone right there. I can't tell if that's... I think that's just ambiance rock. I don't think that's actually a collectible item. What about over here? Some seaweed right there and I see some stuff down there as well. Alright, I think that'll do it for this video. I'll go ahead and stop it here. And let's see, what are we doing in the next video? In the next video I want to finish the 5x5. Five five. Then I want to relocate these items. And I need to get some storage going because Storage is definitely an issue. You can create storage right here, small storage. So I need to get a couple of those up at least. That will help a lot, even though they're very small. Every little bit helps at this point. And then it will be time to start learning how to craft some new items, items that don't appear on here. And for that, we're gonna need a research table. So we'll cover all of those things in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you then.